Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this look. We're going to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me. The whole purpose of today's video is to try on and really share my opinions with you on some of the new makeup that I got for the Sephora Springs saving event because I did do two hauls and I didn't get to try on everything in those hauls. So I tried to pick out things that I either hadn't tried or I want more experience with. So it's just get ready with me, see how it Applies, I share my opinion with you and yeah so if you want to see how I got this look what products I used then just keep watching all right so I know that was a dramatic change but I do want to preface this video really quickly if you saw my last video my Sephora haul that was sponsored by Sephora this video is not this is a video that I just wanted to do nobody asked me to do this video I just want to try a lot more of the products that I didn't get to try on camera and some I have already tried because those were try on hauls but I did want to try them again because obviously it takes more than one time to be able to really tell the true quality of a product I just wanted to bring these new products and put them on my face on camera and actually talk about them live with you guys so this one is a little bit more in depth nobody asked me to do this video it was just something that I wanted to do that I thought would be helpful for you last minute shoppers and it's also going to help me towards my final Sephora VIB haul hits and misses kind of video so I'm just working towards getting through everything and then just also to be completely transparent because that video was sponsored some of the items here were gifted to me but I also made my own orders with my own money for this event so the products in here are mixtures of gifted items and items I purchased so just want to be completely upfront and transparent with you guys I know I appreciate when youtubers kind of disclose that information so I wanted to as well let's get into the actual makeup because girl it is Monday morning I am so tired I ate so many carbs this weekend <laughs> my boyfriend and I discovered how to make sushi and then we had all of these extra ingredients so we've been trying to like use those ingredients before they went bad so this morning I had to drink like a green smoothie. So the first product that I want to dig into is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. So I don't think I'm going to actually use this and wear this for this video, but I did want to try it on because I am looking to do a more full coverage look. And I don't think this is going to be full coverage, but I did at least want to demo it and try it on camera. So I have mine in ST8 Sheila. I watched a demo on it yesterday and this looks like it's very, very sheer coverage. So you have a little dropper. I'm actually just going to put it on the back of my hand so as you can see super liquidy oh no should I apply this with my fingers let's apply it okay that's a bit light for me but yeah it's really shearing out so it's okay problems with ordering online so you never know what color to get I also did no research on what color I needed this is what happens when you don't do your research people I heard the supplies better with your fingers so that's why I'm doing this then we can always go back with a sponge Okay, I know I'm looking a little pasty. Could be a better color match. That's okay. Based on this first initial application, there is no such thing as coverage. It almost is translucent, I would say, but it does add a really pretty natural glow to the skin. My skin is going through it, as I say in every single video, so it's always going through it. So obviously there's no coverage on my spots, so this would need to be paired with something else. But let's see if we can use a sponge to kind of work it out. I don't think this is something that I would like to build up too much because it is a really dewy consistency. Honestly though, just kind of judging from it right now, this is a beautiful consistency to mix with your more matte full coverage foundation that just need thinned out because they're too much. That I think is how I would like to use this product. If you have perfect skin, you're going to like this skin tint. For me, I'm like, nah girl, I need at least a little bit of coverage. I'm okay with a light coverage, but this, it doesn't seem to be building. There's pretty much no coverage to it. The thing that really stands out about this product, I think, is how glowy and dewy and nice and juicy my skin looks. I feel like you have to have perfect skin to use this alone. I would definitely use this in the summertime if I didn't have any breakouts, which is a rare occurrence, but it does happen. So I think the way that I'm going to use this is going to be mixed in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless 
this foundation. That is what I want to mix this in with. So I'm gonna put that to the side and that's what we're going to try it with. It's a skin tint. It did its job. It looks really nice, honestly. Just for today though, this, this is not the vibe that I want. So I'm actually going to take it off. But I did wanna try that on camera just so you can see my immediate thoughts. So I'm gonna use some micellar water. And we're gonna start from scratch. So I'll be right back. I'm also gonna do my eyebrows because I don't have any new eyebrow products. I hate doing my eyebrows before I do foundation because I like to get sloppy with my foundation application, but that's okay. We're doing this to save time. So I actually didn't haul the primer I'm about to use for the spring saving event, but this is a newer product. And the other primers that I purchased for the sale were just repurchases. So I actually wanna try something new. So this is the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. I've used this once, I think, and I really liked it. So, fun fact, I really don't notice a difference when I use my solid silk canvas primer and I gave that away. So, I purchased this, I don't know why. The first time I used it, I really liked it. So I think I like this way better than the solid ones. Maybe if you don't like the solid one, like I don't, this is a way to do it. Plus, I find it to be much more sanitary and just easy to use. But yeah, I feel like, I don't know if my pores have gotten bigger from the last time that I've used the Silk Canvas Primer, just like the regular one, or my skin has changed, which is probable because my skin is always changing. I really like this. I think it feels so smooth on my skin and it feels moisturizing on my skin. I have dry skin and I really do feel like my skin looks blurred. I don't know if it actually makes my foundation look better, but as far as texture and the way it makes my skin feel it feels really good there you go I do like this and I think I like this way better than the solid one just saying it's really expensive though it's like $50 but I am liking it so far okay so let's move on to color corrector so I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury magic vanish under eye and face cheat for intense color so basically this is a color corrector I did demo it in the haul that I purchased this in I got it in fair and you guys did assure me that I should have gotten the medium color because it's more peachy which is actually more color correcting against my light medium skin tone. This almost works more so as a brightener. I mean, it works fine. It gets the job done. Personally, I wanted something a little bit more peachy, but I was unsure of what color to get. I ended up with this one. I'm not mad at it, but I do think I would have benefited more from the medium. So just if you're my skin tone and you're thinking about this, take what I have to say and run with it. And I haven't used it on my face yet, so I'm just going to use it to correct some red areas or discolored areas like this scab that I created and it's my own fault because I was like popping a white head and it wasn't even really an actual zit. And that's what I get, a nasty scab on my face. I deserve it. I'm a picker and I need to stop. Just a little bit of that. That actually really helped. I'm happy with that. But I really like this a lot. I do think it might make my concealer crease just a bit more, but I want to use it a couple more times before I actually finalize that as what it is. But I like the color correcting properties. I think it's really nice and I like the way that it blends out. For foundation, since I did try the Ilia, that's the only foundation I haven't tried, I want to use the Estee Lauder Futuristic Hydra Rescue Foundation again because I only used it the last haul. I haven't used it again. I've used the Hourglass Spanish Stick. That was the other foundation I bought a few times after that. I'll let you know my updates, but she's a little thick for me. So I have my Estee Lauder foundation in this shade 2W1 Dawn. This is a glowy foundation. It's very, very liquidy, but I think I really like it. And the reason I use my finger to spread the product out is I feel like this is the best way to not waste any product. And I feel like I really do get a more even application when I just spread it out, you know? I really feel like the spread is much more uneven and you waste a lot of product if you just dot it on your face and blend it out. This is just a way that has always worked for me. So just a little tip. This is always the hard area to get and this is why I don't do my brows before foundation. Really, I wouldn't say I love this foundation on initial application. Like, I do like it. I think it's really nice and glowy, but this is actually more of a summer foundation, I would say for me. It has like a light medium coverage, 
leaning a little bit more medium and I think I'll really like this for this summer but just as far as like all of my foundations and how it lays on the skin immediately it's not my favorite but it is pretty and I do need to wear this for an extended period of time to really be able to tell so I'll make some notes down below as to how this foundation wore because I actually haven't worn this for an extended period of time so I'll wear this today and let you guys know so for concealer I'm using the Kosas concealer I have mine in the shade 3.5 and I did use this already in a try on but again I haven't worn it for more than like two hours so this shade 3.5 is a bit too yellow for me but I think the peach corrector underneath is going to help neutralize that just a little bit but I do think that I need to mix this concealer with another one just because it's too yellow on my skin I don't really like that but if it was the right color the consistency of this concealer is awesome it it spreads out so easily it's one of those concealers where if you pat a couple times it's already blended out it looks really moisturizing under the eyes so far it's very dewy and natural looking it's not a full coverage concealer which i'm okay with i prefer a thinner concealer that covers less rather than a thick full coverage concealer so i'm okay with the medium coverage here i really just think it's beautiful and glowy so far i really like this concealer but again i will have to to update you down below on the wear time of it. I really like this concealer so far. I don't love the color but that's like a personal problem. I did hear that they do run yellow though so we'll see. I don't know if I got the wrong color or if they're all yellow. I did not buy any setting powders so I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Labs under eye setting powder which is my favorite under eye setting powder of all time. Just lightly pat underneath the eyes. This is the best. Highly recommend for a last minute purchase that you look into these guys because it's like the most blurring, silky powder ever. And I'm actually going to set the T-zone area of my face and I'm gonna use the same powder. If you didn't see my Pat McGrath haul, I picked up the under eye blurring setting powder in medium because I wanna try it on my face because I feel like it's going to be really blurring. That's what we'll do today. So here's the medium shade and I'm just gonna put that right in the T-zone. Yes, this is just as blurring on the face face as I had imagined. So it is acting weird with my dry patches on the center of my face between my eyebrows. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, wherever I put that powder, it really looks blurred. So I'm into this technique a lot. For bronzer, I of course have the Kosas Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. I've used this a few times. I really love it. I have mine in the shade Light. They did just restock on these because these sold out really, really fast. I was lucky to even get the light shade because that one sold out in like minutes. But now these bronzers are really, really good. I highly recommend. They're from a clean makeup brand, kind of a newer makeup brand, I would say, or new to Sephora at least. And I just love this bronzer a lot. From what I've seen, the jump from light to medium is pretty pretty big. Oh, this is so good. It has such like a natural sheen to it and it's the perfect bronzing color if you ask me. It's not too dark on me and it's really neutral but it still warms my face. Oh, I love this bronzer. It is so smooth and silky as well. So the only blush that I have not yet tried that I featured in the hauls is the Kosas Color and Light Cream in 8th Muse. As you can see, I really wanted to try out Kosas. This is a bit brighter than I thought it was going to be. I think this is going to be really great for medium and deep skin tones but I'm gonna see if I can make it work for me so I like to use a sponge for my cream products so I'm gonna very lightly tap it in the hot pink side I have not yet used this at all I have no experience with it oh but that is really stunning I'm using a very light hand though because I feel like this can be very heavy if I'm not careful or very dark it's really pretty very nice soft pink on my cheek I wouldn't say this is spreading super smooth guys I think those Fenty cream products are making me break out because I had one on my cheek after I tried the blushes and then the bronzers I have two breakouts right in the bronzer area so I don't know it might be another product I'm gonna give them one more chance but if I get another weird zit in a weird place after using those products something in them is making me break out but they blend out so smooth this product is not as like silky emollient as the Fenty but I think that actually is gonna help with wear time as well if you're more oily because if you're oily with those Fenty products you have to set them down this one I don't really feel like I need to set down and it's a really pretty color we're gonna 
try this side now. So I'm going to use the top of my sponge. And this is going to add like a really subtle, pretty pink glow. Again, medium, deeper skin tones. I feel like you will really like this color. Definitely a very different consistency than the Fenty, but I'm into it. Like I would totally order more colors of these now that I know the formula. It feels really nice. And that pink light shade added a really pretty natural illumination to my face. And then powder highlighter, I used this in the last video. This is the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Mood Light. I'm just going to take a little bit of this one and put it on top of the cream highlight. I'm just going to use a very, very soft amount though because I really like the natural glow that that cream gave me. And actually, the bottom one's a bit more metallic than the top ones, but I think this one matches the highlight better. So I'm using a refer number 20 fan brush which really lightly applies the powder and I want to use something that's not going to pack on that highlighter because I just want to lightly set this I know I'm not using this powder highlight very intense today but this is really good for intense highlights as well I'm very happy that I picked this up it is really pricey but it's so smooth and glowing on the skin I so taking a look at the base, I'm very happy with how the base is looking. It's looking natural, it's looking glowy, not cakey at all. Thumbs up so far. For eyeshadows, I used all the Tom Fords that I purchased. I was going to use Supreme Nudes, but this is actually sold out right now. So I'll probably do a separate video using this or a random get ready. But I do want to use some palettes that are still available. So I did also purchase two of the Charlotte Tilbury quads. So I want to use my Mesmerizing Maroon line from Charlotte Tilbury so I think I'm gonna use the vintage vamp this is not a new palette at all by any means but it's new from me I just added this one to my collection so I'm going to need an eye base hold on I'm quickly just gonna paint down some MAC paint pot so I'm gonna do like a really simple Charlotte Tilbury kind of look so we're gonna start off with this shade right here and I'm gonna use this in my outer corner to start and then whatever is left on my brush we're gonna carry that into the crease now the reason I love Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows is just the ease of use really a fault in her brand is that she releases the same colors over and over again but the colors themselves are just so nice and you you can see how little work that took to blend it out. We're gonna use a little bit of the deeper shade, just a touch. Not looking to go super deep today, but I'm just gonna put that with the same brush right in the outer corner, just kind of blend that. And then lower lash line, I'm taking the first crease color that we used. Gonna put it right down here. So this is perfect, like underlying vampy kind of plummy eye. I love it. And then I want to use this bright shade right here with my finger and I'm just going to pat this all over my lid and instantly this is going to wake my eyes up, brighten everything up, make everything look really glowy. And then I'm going to take the pop shade right here and it's like a golden glittery shade. I'm just going to pop that right on the center of my eyelid just for a little added glimmer. I mean just like every other Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow product, this was really easy to apply. I do enjoy the really easy look that it created. It's a little bit deeper than some of her palettes, which I really like. So if you want this dramatic yet still wearable quad, I'm loving Vintage Vamp. This is really pretty. I wouldn't say it's my favorite of all of the quads that she has, but I'm definitely not mad about adding this one to my collection for sure. And then I specifically chose that one because I want to pair it with my Mesmerizing Maroon Eye Color Magic Liner Duo from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Now she does have a corresponding quad that's called Mesmerizing Maroon and this one's going to go with that one best but I do think this is going to pair beautifully with Vintage Vamp as well because the matte side is this really pretty plummy color. Really quickly I'm going to not talk and I'm going to line my upper lash line with the matte side and then I'm going to take the metallic side and I'm going to run this along my waterline. Okay, so the metallic scent on this ran on my waterline a lot smoother than some of the other colors in this collection. So I did say in the past that the metallic ones I don't really like because they don't even apply to the waterline well. This one does. And then the matte side, really gorgeous eggplant kind of color. If you've missed my little spiel on these, they aren't the smoothest, most creamy eyeliners. They do have some drag, but they last a really long time. So I don't think these are the best eyeliners on the market, but I just really love the color 
colors that she has of these. I love how well they pair with the quads, which I purchased all of the quads that correspond with the liners as well. So for that reason, I did purchase these, but as far as quality wise, they're just not as creamy as I wish they were. I didn't purchase a new mascara to try out, but I do have a new mascara that you can purchase at Sephora. I just threw out my Benefit Roller Lash because it was old. So now we're gonna try the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Though new mascaras normally kind of suck when you first use them. Uh, I'm not noticing this mascara doing anything exceptional. However, I normally don't like any mascara the first time I use it just because the formula is so wet. I like my formula to dry down a little bit before I actually judge the mascara. So first initial application doesn't seem very special, but that doesn't mean anything. So I'm gonna apply some falsies just to open up my eyes and then we'll be back to finish the rest of the face. For lips, I only bought the two Artist Couture lipsticks and I've demoed both. So I actually ordered from Octoly this Becca Ultimate Love Lipstick Set. I've never used Octoly before. It's like something where you sign up if you have like social media accounts and they'll send you product if you choose to order it, like you pick it out. And I'd never used it before. And I knew I loved the Becca Ultimate Love Lipstick Formula. So I was like, why not? add another color for free. So they did send these to me. You're supposed to like talk about the products that you order, but you guys know I already love these. So it also came with this ultimate lip definer in Fearless. And they also have a really nice lip liner formula. I don't know that this color is going to go great with my eye look. Ugh, I love a fresh lip liner. They're just so pointy. They have a pretty good lip liner formula. I have a couple other ones that are more pinky colors. So I'm happy that I have a more brown one to balance it out. And then it also came with the taupe lipstick, which this one's really cool. I don't think it'll go with my eye look, but this has a little bit more warmth to it than the lip liner. Becca has one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever. They're that made in Italy kind of formula. They're so smooth and comfortable on the lips and they have the prettiest colors. So my look is like very deep and vampy. So I'm going to fix my hair and do all of that and I will be back for the outro. All right, so here is the final look. We kind of have this simple kind of vampy, dramatic but not look going on. But I wanna do a quick rundown of the products that I tried on for you today. We started off with the Ilia Super Skin Tint. This one I think is really nice if you already have perfect skin. For me, I really want to try mixing this in with a thick foundation and see how that works out because I think that would be really cool for this. I'm loving the Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas primer. I think it really does do something to my skin texture. And even if it doesn't, like my skin feels great after I apply this. I don't really have too much crazy pores right now, but I think that with the mixture of this and the Pat McGrath medium blurring powder, there are no pores showing up in the middle of my face where I applied those two products. So both of these, holy cow, my skin is so smooth. <laughs> the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. It looks really nice, really natural, really glowy. I don't think it's going to end up being my favorite foundation in the world, but I do see this as a staple for myself in the summer. So I really do think I'm going to like this in the summer. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Under Eye Corrector. I am liking so far, I'm not loving. I think it does add a little bit of thickness to my under eye that may cause it to crease a little more than it normally would. But as far as the color correcting goes, I think it does help kind of correct the places that I put it on my face. It's a very nice, smooth texture as well. So I can't wait to continue using this, but I do need to investigate a few things first. Uh, the Kosas Concealer, I think is really, really nice. I love how it spreads on the skin. I love how it looks right now. I don't know too much about wear time, but so far I just really love the consistency of this. Same thing goes with the bronzer. I think the bronzer is really incredible. This is definitely one of my new favorite bronzers. This will be in this month's favorite. It is awesome. The cream highlighter and blush from Kosas is really nice. It's definitely a very different texture than the Fenty, but I like it. I feel like this one's going to actually last a little bit more. It feels like it has set down. The color looked very intimidating to me at first, but I was able to make it work. And I actually really like the cream highlighter as well. I don't really like cream highlighters in general. So I'm impressed with this. I'm very happy with this. I definitely can see myself picking up more colors. I'm loving 
using my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. It's just a really seamless highlighting duo. So this is really good. The Vintage Vamp from Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I just haven't tried this specific quad before, but I do really like this quad. I think it's a really great everyday kind of look. I think this is really complimentary towards brown eyes. And I mean, it's just the typical kind of Charlotte Tilbury formula. So if you like it, you will like this. It's a really nice color. And I really do like it paired with the Mesmerizing Maroon Eyeliner Duo. This one I think might be my favorite of the four because the plum is just so versatile. It's so pretty and I really like the metallic side in here as well. So this one, really pretty color and it does pair with Vintage Vamp very well too. And I think that just leaves the Becca Ultimate Love Lipstick Duo. You can purchase these at Sephora and this is a really nice lip combo duo. The Fearless Liner and the Taupe lipstick even if you don't like the colors you guys know the ultimate love lipstick formula for me is one of my favorites it's like up there with my charlotte tilbury and natasha denona is my becca ultimate love lipstick so top's a nice color i wanted to pair it with something a little bit more brown but that's okay so that is all i have for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it it was fun to kind of just sit down chit chat and play with the, the new makeup that i have so thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i hope you take the time to do so and i will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.